Hey and welcome guys, this is the next Unreal Engine tutorial and in this one I will show you how to set up Crunch for Punch. Here's the Paragon Crunch character and he has a nice punch animation, but there's no collision when the left fist hits something. So what we do in this tutorial is to add a collision object to the left hand. It's quite simple, first we have to know the name of the bone to which we have to attach the collision object. So I open the skeleton here, select this bone, which is the left hand, and then I just copy the name of the selected bone to the clipboard. Okay, that's it, and now let's open the character's blueprint. And here I open the viewport and select add component to add a sphere collision. Okay, then I give this guy a name and call it left hand collision. And as you can see, you can move this around, but we have to attach this to the left hand's bone because it has to follow this bone when animations are played, like the punch animation. But before we do this, I have to set some properties for the collision. I set the collision preset to pawn and the can character step up on to no. I will explain these properties in the next tutorial when we are going to add a real enemy. For now just keep in mind that this collision preset will block other actors and this is what I'm going for in this video. Okay, but now it's time to attach the sphere collision to the left hand. So I switch to the construction script and then drag out a attach to component node. Because we selected the left hand collision, it is automatically defined as target and for the player I add the mesh component. Just drag this into the view and then connect it to the player input. And now it's time to set the socket name. This is the name of the bone we still have in the clipboard. So I press Ctrl V to insert it. The location rule I leave to relative so that I can still move the collision object relative to the bone to which it is attached. And I find a position that nicely fits the hand and I also scale it down a bit. Yeah, I'm quite happy with this. We can switch to the level editor again. And you can see this here in the viewport, this collision object that is attached to the hand. In order to test this punch animation now and the collision of the hand with another object, I drag in a sphere and enable physics for this actor. That's also pretty simple, just go to the physics tab and check simulate physics. Then I scale this up so that the crunch character will hit it when the punch animation is played. And I think that's pretty much it we can start and test. And yeah, this works. He has a hot punch, very fast and strong. So this massive object is flying around here like a balloon. And I think I punched it over the borders. <laughs> yeah, why not? Okay guys, that's it. In the next part we will add a real enemy that is also able to punch and to take damage. And if you like these tutorials and my channel, then don't forget to subscribe. There's a Patreon link, perhaps you consider becoming my patron, because this would really help me to create more tutorials for you. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.